Hello everyone, uh, this is Mike here with Bozma Smart Home and thank you for tuning into our video. Today we'll be discussing the new feature in the Bozma Smart app, so if you have an X1, this video is for you. Uh, now this latest feature is called Family Management. We just introduced it in the latest update of the app. And I wanted to kind of take you through it so that way you understand how to use it, understand uh, some of the differences and some of the configurations you can make on it. So that's the purpose of this video. And again, thank you for tuning in. So let's begin. So first thing here we want to show you is pretty much your, your home page. Everything looks the same, except for the very bottom here. Some of the names have changed in the scenarios. Instead of being now a private, now there's a way, there's home and disarmed. Uh, and I will explain each one of these and what it actually does, okay? And how do you customize and configure it for your use and your, you know, your preference, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and tap on the top button here, which is the menu button on the very top left. And we're going to go into family management, which is right under uh, smart home here, as you can see. Uh, and then once we're here, we'll see that we have different groups uh, under family management. Uh, the default group, which is the very the one well, which will always be at top, which in this case is office. And then I have other default other groups here in the bottom as well. Now, if I want to make any of these other groups the default, I would just tap on it, select this family, and now my smart home group is my default in my family management uh, page here. So again, I'm, for this purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put the office back as my default. But before I proceed, I definitely want to show you how to create a new group. So you want to tap the plus sign here in the very top, and then you create a group. In this case, we'll just call it test. Well, actually, sorry, we'll call it test one, two, three, and we'll create that group. Now, the group is created. You can see uh, the members of the group, the devices, and the scenarios. And also, you can delete this group. Now, I'm going to delete the group just to also show you how to do that in case you ever want to do that. I'm actually going to go into this one as well and go into family details and do the same thing. Just delete that one as well. Again, now you know how to delete them. So again, the default group is always the one at the top. In this case, it's office. I'm going to go ahead into that group right now, show you that obviously the name is right there, office, uh, right over this uh, beautiful landscape here. Next to it is an edit option where you can edit the name at any time. Uh, below, you'll find the members. In this case, it's only me. You can always invite other members by tapping on invite and by uh, inputting their phone number or email and then sending and they'll receive an email inviting them to the group. Now, mind you, they do need to be registered. Once they register, they can go ahead and have access to the camera, uh, have access to the settings of the camera. They can see the devices and everything here. So they can also see the live views uh, of the camera and everything. Um, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is scenarios. Scenarios are, again, what I showed you at the very beginning of the video here, which you can set different modes uh, to your uh, camera and, and sensors and so on. So uh, the most common one, obviously, when you're away from the house is the away option here. So the way, as you can see, the cameras are turned on, the motion detection is turned on, the sound detection is turned on. Also, any sensors uh, will be turned on as well. I, unfortunately, I don't have any sensors on this particular uh, camera, so you won't see those, but your sensors will also be included, included here in this scenario. Um, the next thing here is home. Home is, you can customize it a little bit, but essentially when you're home, uh, this basically turns off, you can turn off and turn on anything you want. So for example, right now I have my cameras off, I have my motions off, my sound off, so your sensors can be off as well. Um, so this is when you kind of just want to relax at home and your pets are around or you have people walking around the home and you don't want to get you know pestered with notifications um constantly of motion that's being uh, detected or sound that's being detected or whatever the case may be so this is when you're home so this is a setting you customize as you can see uh the next the last option here is this arm so this arm is um when you want your camera to be on but you want your motion and sound detection to be off which means that if you have um again just people walking in and out of the space uh but you still want to be obviously be able to record this you can definitely still record or your camera will still be on excuse me and your motion and your sound will be off uh, so that way there's no constant notifications coming to your device uh, so that's the three scenarios here uh, and again, home is the most customizable one. So this you could customize, you could turn on and off the camera, on and off the sensors, and on and off the motion or sound detection. So this is great if you can, if you want to customize, um, you know, this particular scenario, you can definitely do that. Um, and then the last thing here I want to show you is at the very home page here, 
um, I want to show you, you know, how, what it looks like when you set these modes away. Okay. So when you're again, when you're away, uh, these little check marks will come up, tell you everything is good to go. Your camera's on, your motion detection is on and your sound is on, which is a good sign. Okay. If you don't see these, that means there's a problem. And I would definitely check uh, out your camera or your connection. Something may be happening here. Okay. But otherwise it should have these little green checks here. Okay. Uh, when you're home, again, it's going to tell you, um, and don't worry about my, my little, uh, X is here. This, that camera is actually currently offline, but the camera that is on off uh, that is online is showing me the green uh, on on the check marks, which is what I want to see. So it tells me here that the camera is off, the motion is off, and the sound detection is off. So when I press OK here, it's going to indicate that that mode is currently on. So now when I tap on that camera, it's going to give me this message here: the camera has been turned off, video unavailable. So that's exactly what you want to see because obviously you. Uh, chose to have the cameras off, have the motion off, have everything off. So this is this is what it should be doing, okay? And then in disarm, again, you're going to see that the camera is on, but the actual motion detection and the sound detection are currently off. So that's also green, so that's all good to go there. So you can choose these modes as you, depends on, you know, whether you're home or you're away or just kind of don't want to get pestered with notifications. So you can definitely choose one of these modes that's best suiting for you. Um, and so that's pretty much the video here. I wanted to kind of go over the settings uh, and the configurations of this new family management feature. You know, I do appreciate you guys tuning into this video and I hope you tune into our next one, which is coming very soon. But till next time, this is Mike once again with Bozmo Smart Home and we hope you enjoy your new camera. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.